Many people when graphing any type of function like to make a table and that same strategy is going to work uh, with parabolas. So notice here we have our function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 1. Well I see my x squared term so I know I'm going to graph a parabola. So I went ahead and made uh, a table down here. Um, if you forgot how to make tables, remember you're just going to be picking x values, you're going to be plugging that x value into your function, and that's going to give you the point on the graph here, um, x, y. Remember this f of x could also be considered the y coordinate uh, on our points. The first thing we need to do is pick what x values we want to use. Now sometimes, like when we're graphing lines, it doesn't really matter what x points uh, we choose. But in the case of a parabola, we want to be sure that we include the vertex. Remember, the vertex is that central point. And if we include this vertex, then we'll make sure that we get points on either side uh, of it. So, um, the way that we find that center point uh, is by using uh, negative b over 2a. Negative b over 2a. Now, uh, the standard uh, form of a, of a parabola is uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, so our a is whatever's next to the x squared, our b is next to the x, and our c is by itself on the side. So if we identify what our letters here, here next to the x squared we have a, well we have no coefficient, so our coefficient is 1. So I know my a is 1, my b is going to be what's next to my x term, which is a 2, and my c is going to be all by itself over here. In this case my c is a negative 1. So if we use our negative b over 2a, that's going to give us negative 2 over 2 times 1, which is going to simplify to negative 1. Now this negative 1 is going to serve as our central point. So I'm going to put that right here in the middle, negative 1. Next, I want to go ahead and pick uh, points on either side of neg negative 1. So I want to pick points smaller than it. Here I'll go with negative 2, negative 3 and also points larger than it. I'm going to go with 0 and 1. Now you can pick any points you want, but um, for graphing purposes, sometimes it's easier to, to choose the ones right next to your central point. Uh, next, we just plug in our x value to our function, which is x squared plus 2x minus 1. So uh, for negative 3, that's going to give us negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 1. Now if you solve this out, that's going to be your y point in the coordinate. I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of this column, just plugging in our x value for the x's up here each time. Now we're ready to uh, find our points on our graph. So uh, for this first position here, I know my x coordinate is going to be this negative 3. So I'll go ahead and put negative 3. And my y coordinate is going to be uh, whatever this equals here. So I have negative 3 squared, that's 9, plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So 9 uh, plus negative 6 is 3, minus 1 is 2. So I know my y value here is 2. And I went ahead and uh, solved the rest of our y coordinates to finish getting the rest of our points here. Uh, you can do that on your own, but again, it's just solving, uh, plugging in our x and solving for these values. And finally, the time has come where we can graph our parabola. All we're going to do is plot these points that we, whoops, I meant to have the laser, uh, plot these points over here that we um, found using our table. So my first point is negative 3, 2. I'm going to go ahead and find that. That's negative 3, 2. That's going to be right here. My next point is negative 2, negative 1, that's going to be here. My next point is negative 1, negative 2, right here. I have 0, negative 1, and 1, positive 2. I'm just going to connect my dots, and I know it's an x squared, 
So it's in the shape of a parabola, and um, we see that it's symmetric on each side, and uh, there is our final product. So um, never be plagued again uh, by not knowing how to graph uh, quadratic functions or functions with x squared terms. Making a table is a very good strategy to use as long as you remember to find your central point using negative b over 2a. All right, time for lunch.